Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to a fresh new season. We go again, my friends. And straight away, like I literally just transfer listed the guys after the last episode. And within days, Apoel came in with a 750 grand offer. We have to... We're paying over half his wages. All right. Have we... Yeah. Okay, so I suppose it's... He's gone. Um, not ideal with that amount of wages we're paying, but that's a bit of a dick. He's on, was he on, 45 or something? So, yeah, not ideal, but I was worried we wouldn't get rid of him at all. So that's not too bad. We're going to do lots of editing this. I'm just going to go through the transfer window, let Gusto do his business, and then come back to you with anything important. We have our first transfer business. I haven't looked. I'm like, oh, we've signed a player. Don't look. We'll we'll discover today together. We've signed two players. Gusto's been busy. It's only 12th of June. Um, as for our team, uh, you know the ones we transfer listed. We obviously got rid of Ghoulies. Uh Calvert Lewin and the other a couple of the other guys. There is teams that want them, and I think Calvert Lewin has a relegation release clause. I'm not sure how much, but there is teams interested. So hopefully they'll go. We've signed Van der Veen. Sounds Dutch. He's got to be Dutch. I don't care what position he's in, really. We could do with every position at the moment, so. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm excited, but scared because he's a goalkeeper, which is amazing, but he's 17 years old and we've just paid £2.6 million for a 17-year-old goalkeeper. Okay. As a rotational option on 10 grand a week. He better be good. He better he better not just be like, oh, he's a one-star current ability, five-star potential. We need this guy to be, like, first team worthy for 10 grand a week. And 2.6. Oh! Fucking hell, boys. Oh, my word. This is really good. <gasps> Praise Jesus. He signed a youngster. That's good. Another one. That's two, isn't it? He did the got the Scottish kid as well. Sixteen reflexes. He's what? Have six foot four. Uses long throw to start counter attacks. What's his throw in? It's not great. <laughs> okay, could have been his kicking. It's a bit better. I'm impressed. He's not really much of a sweeper keeper. Is is rushing out is not great. What is one on ones is okay. But I'm fucking... That is... That is... Amazing. I am chuffed. So we've got Dr. Leg as as the sort of number one. But we've got somebody that can... That is going to challenge him straight away. They can battle for it. That's fantastic. Okay. That's bloody marvellous. Welcome. Okay, don't speak the language. That's fine. He's young. He can learn. Um, said in one intense. So we, next up we've got... Have I heard of Praddle? Praddy? Praddle? Okay, so anything but a goalkeeper, I guess. Centre-back. Yeah, anything but a goalkeeper, really. <laughs> I saw this bit first. A pacey hitman. I didn't, I didn't need an assassin. What? What is he? I th I get a striker, I'm assuming. I've not heard of pacey sit hitman before. 1.8 million. 19 years old. On a very good wages again. That's we we uh, the wages are going up dramatically. Philip Praddle. Oh, look at that! A pacey hitman. I'm not I, okay. Three star current ability, five star potential. His his technicals are okay, and so are his mentals. There's a couple of good ones, couple of maybe slightly weaker areas, but he's absolutely rapid and he's going to run all day long and he's only 19 I am all for that I don't know how he's plucked that out look he's got 15 goals in the second division in Germany last season yes boys yes I'm liking this I like where you're going he also can't speak English that's good that's fine oh oh gusto he's pulling him out of the bag boys right on to the next ones okay we have our next one Alago, uh, Augusto believes in Praddle impact. Alago, so we need, don't need a striker because we've got the, the Tyrese Campbell and the new guy, unless we decide to go two up top. I might play a new tactic this season. We'll probably have our main one as, you know, the one that got us up as the main one, but I'd like to do it. But we don't really need another striker or obviously a goalkeeper. 
Um, but everything else is on the table. So it's a guy. <laughs> it's a goalkeeper. Okay, nineteen-year-old promising goalkeeper for. Th okay, at least this one was a bit cheaper, and he's a hot prospect. I'm th thank God he didn't sign two number one. That's random. Okay, Henrique. It's another youngster though. <clears throat> 19 years old, five-star potential, two-and-a-half-star current ability. What's going on with Gusto? He's good. He's really solid. I think... I think we get rid of... I think that means we probably can get rid of Dr. Leg. Bonham's transfer... He's been transfer listed for ages. But I think that means we get rid of Dr. Leg, doesn't it? Where is he? You stick him in the other fucking 23s on his own. We got we get rid of Dr. Leg and we we let these two battle it out. Oh, that is so ex Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yes! I always did want to get relegated. <laughs> okay, Dr. Leg. Sorry, mate. You did concede six hundred goals last season. You know, I'm just saying. What's happened to Gusto? <laughs> um He's in here, isn't he? He has improved. He has actually has improved. <clears throat> but he holds no real opinion of you. Mate, we've been working together like seven years, mate. No real opinion. I, I'm assuming he doesn't speak English. He does speak English. Where's he from? Portugal. Boa Vista. Okay, it's not great, rating-wise, but... Oh, my word, that is nice. Welcome, welcome. Okay, enough of the goalkeepers, Gusto. I, I'm loving what you're doing. Just maybe move on to all the other positions we need. Okay, midfield and defence, those two. Okay, strikers, done. Goalkeeper, done. Now, just move on. Okay, we've made another signing. I think... Oh, okay... Gusto's back to his old ways here. A 32-year-old, Oriel Romeo, who I know of. I, like, I don't know how... It's 43 grand a week, though. That's a lot of... And 5 million quid for a 32-year-old. I'm not a massive... We do need that position. I'm big. Please be good. Please be good. He's 32 now. Yeah, he's good as a defensive midfielder. He's actually beastly, to be fair. Um, he lacks a bit of pace. And what's his aggression like? 15 aggression. Comes deep to get the ball, does not dive into tackles. What's his passing like? Passing's okay. Position's okay. All right. No, no, I can... It's more than I would like to pay for a 32-year-old on 43 grand a week. But for the championship level, he's he's still a beast. Like, he played most of the games for Crystal Palace last season, didn't they? Are they relegated with us. No, they, they survived last season. Let's just, um, let me just check what happened. <laughs> it's so long ago. No, Palace went down. Okay, it's just not updated. <clears throat> okay, so, so we've stolen them. Okay, that's quite good because we've dented probably one of our biggest rivals for next season. That, that gives it a little bit more edge. But for me, that's a lot of money. We've got a bid in for Christian Aguilera. Come on. Don't off. I don't want to pay their wages. Okay, good. A million quid. That is... I'll take that all day long. How much did we buy him for? Five million quid. I don't care. I don't care. He was one of the worst signings I've ever seen. <laughs> Considering how good he is. I'll take that all day long. Um, as for our other signings, um, Bonham is wanted by Dundee Rangers and Rochdale. Um, who else is going to... He's, we've had the bid in for him. Anis is wanted. But tra actual transfer listed players. So Frakowski... Is wanted by Dundee, Ipswich, and Sheffield Wednesday. So hopefully we'll get some bids in. Jan Danda is wanted by Hull. A minor interest. Not sure. He's 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 worth a lot of money. He's not great. Um, but the big one is Calvert Lewin is wanted by a whole host of teams. Don't fucking loan him. Um, transfer Catafe, Bristol, Tenerife, and Zaragoza, and Sampdoria. So. He's got a, he's got a minimum fee release clause because of the relegation release clause that he had in there. 
Um, and nobody wants Pavoletti. I, I, I knew this one would be a struggle. 35 years old now. Mm, could be tricky to get rid of. But let's let's go ahead. Okay, we've got youngsters. We've got experience. We probably need like a left attacking player, inside forward, winger type player. We need another centre back and we need wing backs is, is the big thing. Full backs. We need full backs. Oh, great. Romeo has just got a pay rise because he's on a match highest earner clause. We all love a match highest earner clause, don't we? Well, I'm hoping that he'll he'll not sign anyone that's valued higher than like with higher wage than that. So that shouldn't be too bad this season. But going forward, that's bad. Okay, he's made another bid. Record for high spending. Um, Nordvelt. Okay, we won't look at him until we sign him. We don't want to be disappointed. All right. Okay, good. 1.1 million. We are paying a bit of his wages. What's he on? 20 grand. We're paying five. Okay, we can live with that. All right. Let's hope we get this Nordvale guide in. A good guy that plays centre back and DM is really, really useful. Some news I comple <laughs> some news that I completely forgot about during the season is that we finished our stadium. I forgot that we were building a stadium. Uh, commentary Chase Aguilera, the actually brought up proudly to announce the John Coleman Arena. During a brief ceremony, new stadium calls a surge in support. It's been necessary for the club to take out a loan at fourteen and a half million. Um, named after one of their heroes, got under sore heat in fourteen thousand two hundred supporters, which is fine for the championship. I'm hoping it has room to expand. Um, <clears throat> very good condition. It's just like perfect condition. We just built it. Um, I'm very happy with that. Okay, their loan deals are all ending. Carter turns professional. They obviously Gusto deals with all the youngsters getting contracts and stuff. Um, he offers far too many contracts out to shit youngsters, but that's fine. We haven't got this Nordvale guy in yet, so we'll take a look if and when we get him in. All right, we've got our expectations for the season. Um, we've got Reed promoted to the under twenty threes. Uh, great. Um, three point three six million for revenue season. Oh, look at that top half finish, boys. Not even expected. Maybe I did go a bit too big with the... Uh, <laughs> saying we could bounce straight back up then. Um, at least they're realistic. Uh, £41 million pound parachute payment. Did we get that in a, in a chunk? Oh, we just did. Just flop it on me lap, lads. Oh. Annoyingly, I have asked for a senior club again. Big senior affiliate because we're obviously League One. And they said no. Just, I, I still hate that. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, improve youth recruitment. Oh, one thing I did do, I'll show you, um, that may have increased junior coaching. Lovely. Um, increase the percentage of transfer revenue because it's 55 and we've got a shit ton in the bank. Okay, they fed up with me. Um, one thing I did do, which might have something to do with Gusto. You know, he has signed an older player, but he signed it. Is that I increased the packages because the director of football doesn't change those things. So I, you know what? I thought, fuck it. We've got money. So I went for the top tier packages in in both sides on the youth and the senior players. So maybe that's made him more available or more youngsters available and he's gone for it. So social feed... Match official, yep, don't care. Nice, 70%. Okay, still not great, but I don't think we should use all, you know, go crazy with the money. I could ask for more money, like, at some point. <laughs> but if we, if we get rid of these, no bids have come in yet. Somebody bid. Who's going to be first to go? There's a lot of loanies. I don't really want to loan these. There's actually only two teams wanting to buy him now, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll find out. We have sold Christina Aguilera to Coventry, of all teams, who are in the champion. If he has a fucking brilliant season, I'm going to be so annoyed. So annoyed. Uh, we're not paying any of his wages, so that's that's very nice. That gets us back under the wage budget after Romeo's signing. Uh, but we're doing all right. I'm happy so far. Unfortunately, it looks like Nordveld has rejected us. Oh, he's 34. Good. Stop. Stop it, Gusto. Please go back to the youngsters. Get the youngsters. Let's have a look at him now. He's rejected us. He's a pretty solid defensive midfielder. Couldn't, not great for centre-back. He's only got 10 heading. The rest is pretty good, though. I would have I would have taken him. Maybe 20 grand a week. Maybe not. 
but he has made an offer for another player. <gasps> has he accepted it? Yes, yes, yes. He's, he's rejected it. He's rejected it. Why have you rejected it? Is it a loan? No, I'm gonna offer this. Hmm. Why? Why have you rejected it? Is it because? Oh, because I think it's set. Then I didn't set. I I leave these as default, but they do change. It's because it didn't. It must have set it because of his minimum fee release clause. Because I don't change that. That's why he's rejected it. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a pain in the bum hole, isn't it? Oh, now he wants a chat. McWilliams. Just give him a slap, right? Um, Gusto, chat to him. Okay, right, okay. We'll come back to you with any more signings. Frankowski has joined Dundee United. Or Dundee. Oh, no, I get told off in the comments when I give... It's Dundee. It's Dundee. It's not the other one. It's Dundee. I get told off in the comments when I just call him Dundee. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 950k? We haven't to pay 11k of his wages. Oh, I wish I could specify that in <laughs> when I say not listed. Like, just do that. Right, we need some transfers in, though. We need some fullbacks. Okay, mini little update. <clears throat> It's not going fantastically well, to be honest. Gusto's been back to Gusto ways. He's put in bids for maybe two or three sort of 32 to 34-year-olds of various positions. They've turned him down. Um, good news is, though, we have had a bid for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. It's 5.2 million, but I want him off the books. I want him gone, so that's good. Actually, we need to take him off the loan list. Uh, unavailable for loan. Hot prospect. Pachow. Can I, um, we've got bids in, look, look, 33, Gilfie Sigerson was there. I don't know why it's cancelled. Oh, because it's not, Gilfie just said no, as opposed to turning down crap money. Ryan Bertrand. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this. <laughs> I want to, um, I don't want to, I'm going to cancel this one because, that was my fault for not taking him off the loan list. Flash Gorn, there's an offer, um, hundred grand or something. I'm at, I'm Jack Bonham. There's offers for loan because nobody wants to buy him. I've also put the old striker Pavoletti up for loan as well. Just if somebody wants to pay his wages for a year before he fucks off, that'd be good. We are missing out on wing backs. I'm purposely selling Flash Gordon because it might force Gusto into action. But fingers crossed. <laughs> well. I didn't expect this, lads. Stephen L. Shirawewe um, has joined us on loan from Sunderland. Uh, it's I kind of love it. I kind of love it. You know, the Roma Inter Milan legend. So Sunderland bought him for six mil skis. Where are... Um, so Sunderland got relegated. They were the bottom of the league, weren't they, with us. So we've loaned them in. From Sunderland. One and a half million pounds loan signing. <clears throat> 16k a week. Okay, not too much of his wages. His physicals are obviously a little bit poor now, but he's still a very good player. Jared Bowen on the right. El Shirari on the left. Ah, oh, it's decent, that, boys. Can we not just have bought him? If we were... Okay, five million quid. Maybe not. Right, at least we've got a loan signing. I was starting to think, you know... We know Gusto has a penchant for loan signings, and he hadn't really been doing any, but anything. So, okay, so let's have an update. Um, but Bonham's out. Flash Gordon's on his way. We still need wing backs. We don't have a left fullback at all, and right as well, really. Anas can play either side. So one of them, we need another one at least. Centre backs, we only have two centre. We've got four goalkeepers, lads. Um, we only have two centre-backs, I've just noticed. It's not ideal. Uh, we've got enough central midfielders, which is a nice change. But we need centre-backs. Like, really badly need centre-backs. So, and a full-back. That's all we need now. I think up front, Calvert-Lewin, he's had another bid put in. So, Derby County have come in for him. So, that's all good. He's on his way. And then we've got uh, Campbell and the new kid, Praddle. Um, Philip Pradle, we've got so that's fine up top. El Shire Bowen, Lod, Kieran Reed, 
Uh, Yandan does not... Nobody's actually coming for him yet, so he might be with us. So that'll be enough. Centre mids, fine. Centre backs, please. Games, Gusto, please. Centre backs and full backs. We finally got rid of Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's gone to New York City. They came in with a late bid. Uh, fee of £7 million. Lovely. We'll take that. Enjoy yourself, mate. Uh, so that means finances are looking great. £87 million in the bank. We've reduced the budget. A fair whack. We've still got £10 million quid to spend, which we need to really spend. I've not seen any bids for new players, and it's starting to scare me a little bit. The transfer window is open until... What's the rules for championship? Uh, 8th of August. We've got to the 8th of August, and then we've got free transfers to the 31st of... Hang on. Any time. Any time. Come on, Augusto. Come through for us. Okay, Flash Gordon has left us. I know it's it's a bit of a gamble um, because we're lacking fullbacks, but I'm trying to sort of game the system a little bit with Gusto in that then hopefully that will force him to go out and sign some fullbacks. That's my thinking. So he's gone for a free transfer to Livingston. It says a lot, you know, when you just play in the Premier League. He never really did it for us, did he? He was okay. Not bad, 67 grand. We got a couple of seasons out of him. Not too bad. Apparently, we've been linked with Wesley. A Brazilian striker. Oh, not a striker, Gusto. Not a striker. Okay. <laughs> we are 20th favourites to win the league for promotion this season. 20th. They have such little faith, don't they? I'm starting to get panicky. Maybe they've, they've looked at our team, taken that into consideration. And gone, He's got no defence. Um, I can't even... I was thinking, oh, no full-backs. We could go three at the back. But then we've not even got enough defenders to do three at the back. We do have that kid, don't we, that was half-decent. But he's 16. I don't think he's... Oh, he's just turned 17. I don't think he's quite ready for championship action. Although he might have to be at least cover. We'll find out. Okay, we've got a new signing. His name's... We've loaned him, and his name's FaZe. Okay, please be a defender. Don't be a striker. Don't be a goalkeeper. He's a centre-back. He's a centre-back. Woot FaZe is a great name. I admire Gusto. Well played. Well played. Um, not a ridiculous amount of money if he's playing. Quite a chunk if he's not. Um, 26 years old, so not in his 30s, which is always a bonus. Okay, what are the... The fan... Oh, oh. They reckon he's good. Let's register him. Go on, Wooty. All right, big hair as well. Solid all-rounder. Okay, unspectacular, but everybody loves a Belgian. Um, that's not too bad at all. He was on loan at Burnley last season in the Championship. Did really solid, 6.97. Okay, we can live with that. It looks like... Brighton bought him and he's not quite premiership quality. And then they've loaned him out. Maybe they can't sell him. Is he transfer list? He's not transfer listed. Woot Faze, welcome to the club. It's another centre-back, boys. And he's a decent ball player as well, so that's nice. Apparently, our new young... What is he? Hitman. <laughs> our assassin is favourite to be top goalscorer. He's not even first choice, but I like it. The good thing is he can play on the... That's nice as well. He can play as the inside forward as well. We could train him on that left-hand side. Okay, good stuff. We've had an offer accepted. I'm not going to look at him. Right, okay. We still, ideally, we still need a centre-back, a right-back and a left-back. If we get a centre-back, a right-back and a left-back, maybe another full-back as well. But if we can get those, that's our minimum requirements, I think. We've got the money. Jan Dander is wanted, but only loan still. And Pavlotti is not. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. It's not. That's not too bad because of Pradle can play on that right hand or left hand side as well. What we could. Nobody wants Leggy as well. I wonder if we can encourage. If we can just loan him out then. If he's not going to go by the end of the window, we just go. Okay. Right. Moving on. We have another loan. I think it's the loan signing that we saw before. Mehel. 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 We're going to go for Mehel. Please be a fullback or a centre back, mate. Please, please, please. What is he? Where is he? Fullback. 27 years old. Another not old person. On loan from Leicester. 
fucking hell, he better be good. Oh my god, he better be really good. We're paying. He's on seventy four grand a week at Leicester. We're paying half that plus one hundred eighty one grand a week. Like you better be fucking top notch, mate. Oh, that's <clears throat> first team player and can still improve. He's twenty seven. I don't know how much he's going to improve. Let's register him. Please, you've got to be really good, mate. You've got to be really, really good. It's all right. Like, if you if we picked him up for half a million, or if we'd loaned him in for his wages, fair enough. I feel like we're overpaying slightly. Maybe Gusto's got a bit desperate. Um, but okay, it's a fullback. It's job done. We've still got sixty five grand in the in the budget and seven million pounds to spend. We still need two cent or one more centre back and a left back. Ideally we need to purchase somebody. We've got four loanies now. We don't want to go crazy on loanies. We know what happened before. Come on, Gusto, you've got this. We've only got ten days before the transfer window closes though. Okay, we are up to the first game of the season, so we are gonna end it there. It's against Sunderland. One thing I've noticed about Gusto, and this is probably a thing for directors of football challenges, is that he doesn't like competition. If he puts a bid in for a player and then another team puts in a bid for that same player, they the other team always wins. I don't know if Gusto is just like he must be like massively lowballing all the offers in the hope that nobody else comes in with a bid. He's put a bid in for about three players. I didn't I didn't look at who they were or what position or whatever, but I just saw them go. He puts in a bid for this player. Derby have put in a bid for the player, and I'm like, okay, well that's gone. And they've just chosen the other team every single time. One little last bit of news is that apparently, Doctor Leg. Middlesbrough are after him. So that'd be nice. Like, I feel a bit sorry for Dr. You know, he didn't do anything wrong. He would have been fine. He's probably still just about our best goalkeeper, but I really want to try out these two new youngsters and stuff. Okay, so we are going to have, next episode, a very busy day. We are... We've got two games and transfer deadline day next episode. So that's going to be fun. Let me know what you think of the transfers, boys. Uh, what have we got? Who's this? Oh, he's a centre mid. He's a centre mid. Stop it. Don't need a centre mid. We, we actually kind of do, but... <clears throat> I'm amazed with the two goalkeepers. I'm very happy with our hitman. I'm, I feel like it's a lot of money, but to have that experience of Romeo in there is really good. El Shirari, <laughs> I think that's great. I can't wait to see him play. He's a bit... From what I've seen in previous FMs, he's a bit all over the place. Sometimes he's great, sometimes he's awful. Woot phase is fine. Uh, Joachim Mael, Mael, Mael. Um, very expensive, but we needed a fullback, so I'll take it, to be honest. And the players that have gone out, not too bad. Not too bad, we've raised a bit of money. Weirdly, and I don't know, I don't get relegated often, so I haven't had much experience. But I was expecting like half the team to put in transfer requests. And not a single player has either put in a transfer request or even been upset after relegation, which is nice, unrealistic, but nice. Right, so there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. Um, hopefully we've got more to come. Hang on, does somebody want him? No, no, nobody wants this dude. And if anybody in the comments wants him, um, you can have him for free, but you'll have to... Pay him 20 grand a week, all right? If you want a really expensive cleaner or something. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.